Uh, congratulations on the show. Thank you. Um, I can imagine there were many reasons for you to want to get involved. The show itself, Jennifer, Reese, all the amazing guys, and obviously your relationship with Mimi. This must have been very, very difficult to, not difficult to say yes to. Yeah, no, I mean, there was a no, it was a no brainer as one. I, I don't know if I like that, um, that phrase, but it, it was um, a real luxury of riches. First of all, just the character itself um, and, and uh, Carrie Aaron had, had gotten, we did a Zoom together where she explained who this character was and I um, just fell in love with the character. And then the idea of, I, it was a little daunting just because it was in the middle of a pandemic and I'd been in mm -hmm. lockdown for eight months with my husband and son in the middle of nowhere in upstate New York. So suddenly I thought, oh my God, I'm gonna get on a plane and all of this, like, how does that work? So the beginning was a bit daunting just for travel, but getting on that set and working with that cast of characters, I mean, it, it's a luxury of riches. Um, on top of the fact that uh, I didn't, have never been able to play a character like this. It's never been offered to me before. And I was really flattered, truly, um, to, that they asked. And I had a ball. I love this character so much. <laughs> That's always nice to hear. People always say they have a ball. It's like, I don't know, it's like every time I speak to people, they're like, I had a ball, it was great. <laughs> well, you know, also, I mean, I, I have to be honest with you, to, to have been for eight months scared and, and doing all the cooking, the cleaning, the shopping, plus I was finishing my, my own book and doing a, do, a voicing a documentary and getting my kid online for school, like it, it felt impossible during the pandemic. I just thought, oh my God, I'm, because you were only have, supposed to have one person shop for the food and then it took four hours just to clean it all off. and. It was so much work that the idea of getting on a plane and working felt like a vacation. <laughs> so I felt guilty actually when I got to LA. <laughs> Left my husband to do it all and I was like, actually, I'm in a really nice apartment and I get to work tomorrow. <laughs> so I felt guilty. Honestly, you, did, you did ER in, in the 90s and TV was a little bit different then and now it's fast forward where Apple were making shows and allowing people to tell the important stories that maybe they wouldn't have done 20 years ago. Have you have you seen being in this show the transition between the sh is, or is it is it kind of similar because there's a lot more stories being told that maybe weren't being told 15, 20 years ago as well as attracting so many kind of A-listers when before it would be end of career, TV, end of career. Yeah, I mean, when, when I was on ER, it was you were either a TV star or a movie star, but movie stars didn't do television. And now it's one big bowl of fun. Um, and I, I love it. I actually had bumped into Reese at a, we were both at a conference um, a few years ago, just when Pretty Little Lies had been a huge success. And I saw her, we didn't know each other that well. We knew each other a little bit because we used to have the same agent back in the day. Um, and I went up to her to congratulate her on her venture into television. And I said, welcome to my world. And she said, I never knew how great this was for women. Mm. The television platform, and now with all these different, it's such a different landscape than when I was on ER, you know? There's so many streaming platforms on top of the fact that just cable, I mean, when I was on ER, The Sopranos, the first year of The Sopranos, they didn't qualify for the Emmys because they had the Cable Ace Awards. We weren't even one, you know, one um, television award community. It was it's very split up. It was just about the networks and then the cable and then, and now it's just, um, it's everybody's party ground. I think people are really finding that you can play more in television opportunities for women are three times more interesting in television than it is in film really. Um, because in film, the, the choices for women are far and few, few right? So you have sometimes great roles, but they only go to a handful of actresses. Mm. But in television, television celebrates women of every uh, every dimension. I mean, you can be anyone as a in a television show because there are ten episodes to explore who that person is. I say ten, coming from the school of doing, you know, twenty three to twenty two to twenty three episodes a year. Um, ER, our first year, we did 24 for two seasons, which was, uh, you can't do it. You can't sustain that kind of energy for that long. Um, and I think the real crisis comes, falls on the writers because they never get a break. Um, they're just churning out scripts and it's a really difficult thing to do to make 24 great episodes, but to make 10 great episodes, eight great episodes, you know, it's like reading a wonderful novel. You just keep turning the page, you know? So 
Um, I love this new format and I'm thrilled that all these, as you say, A-list people who are in movies are now saying, wait, the real roles are in television. I'm going there. And it's yes. nice to be employed. I'm like, welcome, come. <laughs> I've been doing this a while. I love it. <laughs> May I just say before I go, I don't think you'll ever top the dance sequence that you did in Scrubs, which is my favorite show of all time. I'll just, I'll just put that out there before I go. <laughs> thank you. I really appreciate that. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for your time. Pleasure talking to you. Thank you so Bye. much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!